In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a look at what I have inside my camera bag. Welcome back to The Breakdown. My name is Miguel Quiles, and without wasting any time, I wanna go through all of the gear that I have inside of my camera bag and kind of talk to you guys about why I have it and what I use it for. So let's go ahead and first talk about the camera bag. The actual camera bag that I'm using is the Think Tank Airport Advantage Roller. What I really love about this camera bag is that it is extremely durable. It will take abuse getting wheeled back and forth to different countries uh, all throughout the year. And the really awesome thing about it as well is that there are times when you're going to get on regional flights where overhead space is gonna be very limited. And what I love about this is on those smaller regional flights, this bag does fit in the overhead compartment. So you won't run into situations where they end up checking your bag and you get your lenses back and your cameras and everything is broken. For the actual equipment that I carry with me inside of my camera bag, I usually have three camera bodies. I have the Sony A9, I have the Sony A7R3, and today I also have the Sony a7 III, which I'm taking for a little bit of a test uh, shoot throughout this week. But typically I would have three camera bodies with me at all times, mainly because one will be a camera that I'm actually taking photos with. And I usually have additional cameras set up to record B-roll, record behind the scenes footage. So that's typically something that I would shoot with something like an a7 III or even uh, the a7R III. Now, since I am typically shooting portraits, I have a collection of portrait lenses. So the two main culprits, which you would see in most portrait shooters bags, I have the Sony 24 to 70 2.8 G Master lens. The 24 to 70 focal range is just an all around workhorse of a uh, lens. If I wanna shoot full body, if I wanna shoot close ups, it gives me the ability to be able to do that with a beautiful background blur that I've just gotten very used to using. And then on the longer side, I have the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master lens, which also is really great for shooting full body. If I can back up, it really compresses the background where it brings the background a little bit closer to the subject. Uh, or I could shoot very close up portraits where I just fill up the frame with the person's face, which if you see my work on Instagram, you'll kind of get an idea. A lot of the portraits that you see there are shot at the longer end of some of these lenses like the 70 to 200. Beauty portraiture has been my thing as of late, and so my secret weapon for doing that, I have two, which is the 90 millimeter 2.8 G series lens. It's a macro lens from Sony. And I also have the 100 millimeter 2.8 STF, which stands for smooth transition focus. Both of these lenses allow me to get really, really close, bring in that background, get a really nice compression if I'm shooting outdoors. If I'm shooting in the studio, I use the 90 macro to be able to capture immense detail. So you get all of the skin texture, you can really fill the frame, you can get super close to the person to capture details in the makeup and things of that nature. So I tend to switch between the 90 and the 100 mil, just depending on whether I'm shooting outdoors or I'm shooting in the studio. The last lens that I carry with me is an 85 millimeter lens. Now I personally own the 85 millimeter 1.8 and the 85 millimeter 1.4 from Sony. One is a standard Sony lens and the other is their G Master lens. And so they both fit inside of this bag, but typically I tend to bring the 85 1.8, especially when I'm traveling, because the quality is fantastic. You don't really lose very much in terms of image quality, but it's a little bit lighter and it just works for my workflow. So I have an 85, a 90, a 100, a 24 to 70, a 70 to 200, and that kind of rounds out the lenses that I bring with me with the three camera bodies. Now, one of the other things that I also bring with me is the Sony RX0, and I have two of them in this bag. And the reason that I bring those is that anytime that I wanna shoot behind the scenes footage, or if I'm driving somewhere, if I wanna vlog, I'm able to take these small cameras with me. They record in high definition video, and they're just rugged, they're, sh they're shockproof, they're waterproof, I can throw these things around, and I don't really have to worry about them getting damaged. And I could capture some really interesting footage along the way. I also carry my battery grip, I carry a 15 foot tethering cable at all times. Even if I'm shooting outdoors, if I have the opportunity, I love to shoot tethered, because it gives me the opportunity to 
automatically bring all of my photos to my laptop, saves me a step in the post-processing when I get home. I get to show my clients right there on location what the photos look like, and it just makes everything much easier for me. I'm able to arrive at my favorite photos much, much quicker. So I bring this 15 foot cable with me everywhere. I have my Pro Photo Air remote that I also carry inside of my bag. And then on the outside of the bag, on the outside flap, I carry my laptop with me. I have a couple of different laptops that I have been using over the past few months, and both of them fit anywhere from 13 to 15 inches, fits on the inside of this bag with no problems whatsoever. So that's what I have in my camera bag. What's inside of your camera bag? What gear are you using? What lenses and camera bodies are you guys in love with? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions for me as well about the gear that I'm currently using, you can leave that in the comments as well. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV. They have new content coming out all the time. Make sure you check out the Adorama Learning Center as well because there's tons of great articles there with more information to help you get better at photography, videography, all of that good stuff. With that being said, thank you so much for watching The Breakdown and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.